Section 4 of the Lotteries and Gaming Act of 2016 mandates the National Lotteries and Gaming Regulatory Board to issue licenses for lotteries, casinos, gaming and betting companies in Uganda. The Act also clothes the board with powers to confiscate illegal sports betting and gaming machines, destroy them and arrest operators. According to Dennis Modene Ngabirano, the chief executive officer of National Lottery and Gaming Regulatory Board, over 3,900 illegal gaming machines worth 4.2 billion shillings were confiscated in the last two financial years. This is part of our responsible gaming uh, activity because uh, one, these gaming equipment get into the country illegally. Uh, we have uh, undertaken uh, intelligence-led operations and uh, we've been able to identify some of the suppliers. Slot machines, also known as coin machines, have gained popularity as a kind of gambling due to their easy accessibility. The challenges we face is that people import spare parts into this country. They say they are for computers or other equipment. They end up assembling illegal gaming machines and fleecing our people of money because these are not regulated, they are not of good standard and they are cheating our people instead of benefiting them. And the most disturbing is that they supply these gaming machines to individuals, to even individuals that have these retail shops that are selling sugar, salt, to run these gaming machines. The illegal gaming machines were handed to the National E-Waste Management Facility, which is managed by the National Enterprise Corporation, the designated National E-Waste Collector, with oversight, regulation and coordination by the National Environmental Management Authority. As a National E-Waste Management Center, we receive all equipment that are classified as E-Waste, that is electric and electronic waste, and uh, these items are part of that category. According to the World Lottery Association, the cost of illegal betting on sports is estimated to be between 350 billion US dollars and 1.7 trillion US dollars. Nahoho Rashid Matselele, UBC TV.